Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Another one of those things I really shouldn't have bought, but I did. A hover blimp. Uh, somewhere on it, it does say 2005, so it's pretty old. £4.99. I've had a look inside and again have wasted my money. Uh, it is broken. I can probably fix it, but it would be useless to anybody who didn't have any uh, mending capabilities. We'll take it out in a second, but we'll have a look at the box first. So, £4.99 sticker over there. Hover blimp, RC flying blimp, over one metre long. Starship lights up from inside. Flashing LED light. Lights up in the dark. Uh, age 8 plus. Multifunction radio control. Uh, rescue aliens with cool sky hook. Requires one CR123 battery, two AA batteries, and helium, not included. Designed for indoor use only. Um, I've got some AA batteries, but I, I don't think I've got a CR123 battery. Uh, somewhere around, it did actually say it's 27 megahertz. It's got three motors. These two and one in the middle pointing up and down. Right, I'll move the camera a bit and we'll open the box. Two boxes. We'll look at this bit first because this is the bit that's broken. Not quite sure what that plastic tube's for, probably for actually filling it up. All right, let's have a look at the damage. So that side looks more or less okay, but that side is clearly broken. So I'm going to have to try and put something straight across inside to link it back together. Because that's just blowing around in the breeze. That's also chewed up just there as well. So I get the feeling it may never have been used. I mean, it's nicely folded up. You can get an idea of the size of it. Yeah, so that's over a metre long. Uh, that looks like the filling uh, inlet. I have looked at the possibilities of buying a canister of gas. There are various prices, but probably about 20 quid. Or I could go to a flower shop or gift shop and probably get it filled there anyway. Right, this is why I think it hasn't been opened. That's the aliens and the lead ballast weights still in their bag. Instructions. Transmitter, and that's the, what do they call that? Docking base. It's just a weight with a string on it. So actually hold it in place when you're not using it. But that, or well, both of them, are still strapped in place with the plastic. So I suspect that this may be one that was damaged and was replaced and now it's just been dumped as old stock either from the shop that was holding it 
Or maybe the person who had it replaced never sent the old one back. But I don't think it's ever worked. I don't think it's ever been used. And before we can use it, we've got to mend it. Instruction manual. Oh, deflation straw is what that straw is for. So we need a couple of AA batteries. So somewhere it definitely said 27 megahertz. I haven't found it yet. But I might put some batteries in the transmitter anyway. Just to see if it'd be any use for anything else. Well, I've tried the transmitter on a few of my cars and it doesn't talk to any of them. But I've rigged up a temporary battery for the gondola. So I don't know if we can see from this camera angle. Yeah, so that one's working. And then that's the other one. And then these buttons do this one. Very gentle, because I'm slightly underpowering it with those rechargeable batteries. So it's supposed to be a 3 volt battery and they're only 2.4 anyway. But yeah, it looks like it all works. So worst case scenario, and I can't fix it, or I can't get that filled, we've still got a working transmitter, receiver, and three motors. So I suppose I could even make it into a hovercraft or something. I'd have to change that motor out. I don't think that would actually lift a hovercraft, but certainly we've got left and right steering. So, yeah, I would be inclined to say charity shop gold or garbage, garbage, because it's broken. But there's bits in it that might be usable. Or I might actually fix it and use it the way it's designed. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.